There is a simple trick you can use to increase the frequency of heart variability measurements on the Apple Watch. In this short video, I explain what you need to do. Heart variability measurements are useful. This data feeds into algorithms which estimate your level of fatigue, and recovery metrics have become all the rage in the last year or two. Previously, these types of stats were limited to Whoop, Aura, and a few other devices. Now you have a plethora of watches from Garmin, Polar, and others spitting out all sorts of recovery metrics. The Apple Watch is a bit behind the game on this count. While the latest version of the operating system does bring a bunch of useful performance metrics, particularly for runners, recovery stats based on heart variability measurements are not present. Of course, you can tap into third-party applications such as Athletic, connect it to your Apple Watch and get the recovery stats. The problem is the sampling rate. By default, the Apple Watch only takes a heart variability measurement every 2-5 to five hours, which is not nearly frequent enough. But there's a simple hack that will increase this sampling rate. What you need to do is set up the Apple Watch so that it looks out for Afib. This is a chronic condition that is a specific type of irregular heart rhythm, where the upper chambers of the heart beat out of sync with the lower chambers. The caveat to doing this? Switching on Afib history will automatically switch off irregular heart rhythm notifications, so you will lose access to that feature. Apple writes on its support pages, since the irregular rhythm notification is not intended for people with Afib, it is turned off automatically when you set up Afib history. To enable Afib history, open the Health app and go to the Heart page. Choose Afib history's setup. It turns out when looking out for Afib, the Apple Watch takes heart variability measurements more frequently, about every hour or so depending on the type of activity you are engaged in. It is not ideal to have to do this to get more frequent measurements of heart rate variability, but it does the job. Presumably Apple has done this in order to preserve battery life, which is pretty miserable as it is. But this simple tweak means you can now use third-party software to calculate your readiness to train with more precision.